Hi guys, I'm Precious, food and lifestyle blogger at PreciousCore.com and you're welcome to my kitchen. In this episode, I'll be showing you guys how I make my pepper soup. I'm going to be making goat meat pepper soup. It is so cold outside, so I can't wait to cozy up with some pepper soup. It is so easy, so comforting, so tasty. Let's go over the ingredients and then we can start cooking. So you need goat meat. I'm just using goat meat here, which I bought from the Asian store. These are about two pounds, which is equal to one kilogram of good meat cubes then I have here one teaspoon of dry ginger normally I'm going to use fresh ginger that would be about an inch of fresh ginger but I don't have fresh ginger at home right now so I'm going with one teaspoon of dry ginger one teaspoon of white pepper 35 jansa seeds this is looks so much like chickpeas but these are not chickpeas this is a seed called jansa seed that is used in Cameroon to make pepper soup so it's stews it is so good so tasty it's it really helps with the texture and the flavor of the pepper soup so you can get this from African stores or the African Isle in Asian stores it's called jansa <laughs> and then right here I have one medium onion one stem of parsley one stem of celery five cloves of garlic one stem of green onions you could also use about a quarter stem of leeks two seasoning cubes of or maggi i don't know if i already mentioned this but five cloves of garlic and some salt you also need one habanero pepper now if you cannot tolerate a lot of heat you could use half of this and sometimes i'll make pepper soup without pepper it's funny but you know my kids don't really tolerate heat so sometimes i'll just drop the pepper hole in the pepper soup then i can press that in my own bowl of soup so we are going to be using one habanero in this recipe so those are all the things we need guys let's start cooking so i'm just going to open up my good meat here then I'm going to wash this and put in our pot so our um, good meat is all nice and washed I'm just going to put this into my pot here I'll add in three cups of water and this just comes to about the level of the meat I'm just making sure that the meat is evenly divided in the pot then I'm going to cover this to make sure that fire is coming on come on okay there we go so this is going to cook on medium high for 20 minutes while we prep our spices and our herbs so I'm just going to start off by grinding the dry stuff and I'll add the wet stuff and then blend them all together so that jansa and the white pepper these are the dried stuff we have here I love grinding all of them at once so I don't want to like, separate them so I am so that is nice and ground there we are then I'm going to add in our herbs and our garlic just cutting off the some of the stems are really hard so I'm not going to put in the really hard stems and I is is always advisable not to put in so much of the green herbs, you know, because you don't want your pepper soup to look all green. <laughs> Even though there's no problem with it looking green, but I'm just used to like pepper soup having like this faint white color. Then our garlic. smells so good already <laughs> then we're going to chop our green onions put them all in then our onion take off that out of skin this onion is so juicy because I got it from the farmer's market it's not as dry as the regular onions you get from the grocery stores it's so juicy on the inside put that in 
then I'm going to get some water into adding about half a cup of water then I close it blend to a paste I'm also adding in my habanero pepper I'm just going to take off the stem here to the spice blend then we'll blend it all together awesome now this is our pepper soup powerhouse goodness so when this thing the when the good meat cooks for 20 minutes then we are going to add all of our spices and all of our seasoning I'll show you guys what it looks like our good meat has cooked for 20 minutes so at this point it's all for me boiling oh my goodness so right now I'm just going to add in a teaspoon of salt then I'm going to put in our seasoning cubes making pepper soup is really easy you just mix everything together and let them cook and become one <laughs> add my maggi my ginger powder then my wonderful spice blend I'm just adding some water to rinse it out so we don't waste anything then I'm just going to mix oh my goodness look at that that is looking good now all that's left to do is to cover oh my god splashes <laughs> it's to cover this and then let it cook for another 40 minutes now you want to make sure that you check it from time to time so if the water is drying out because pepper soup really needs to be soupy something like this so if it's the water is going down so much you add just a little bit of water to make sure you have enough liquid in there so let's cover this and let it cook 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 i'll show you guys what it looks like our pepper soup is all done it actually cooked for about 30 minutes it is perfect I tasted it and added just a little bit more salt oh my goodness it smells so so good in here I'm just going to put 10 of the heat first before I put some for myself I guess I was too eager so turn off that heat and I'm just going to put some for myself get some of that meat Oops. now you could have this as a teas but I love having it with some plantains um, semi ripe plantains boiled plantains so good you could also have it with like boiled yams with potatoes sometimes I'll have it with French bread I just like that combination of pepper soup and French bread so so good very hearty so tasty cannot wait to dig in mmm divine it is spicy so flavorful let me get some of that meat mm. the meat has absorbed the flavors from the soup it is so good just going to get some of that plantain divine this is perfect for the weather so so tasty and you guys you can see that pepper soup is so easy to make all you need to do is combine some spices and herbs and to tell you the truth I rarely use the exact same blend of spices and herbs every single time it mostly depends on what I have at home you know like if I have some basil I'll throw in a little in there sometimes I'll even put a little bit of bay leaves in there sometimes I'll put African nutmeg what is called bebe in Cameroon also known as ihuru I'll put in like one sometimes I'll put in a little black pepper or bush pepper 
I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me. For the full recipe, be sure to check out my blog, preciouscore.com. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.